right. We're going live. I'm gonna play a little, um, well, a sequel to the game we finished up last week, Horizon Forbidden West here. We're gonna literally put this game on for the first time. Um, I don't know why it's offering HDR. I don't have HDR. I'm just gonna turn it off because I don't have HDR on this set, but uh, I can fix that down where I normally play games at. So we wrapped up the DLC for Forbidden or Frozen Wilds last week and then beat the core game. That was the last stream of it we did. And now today, Through a lifetime we're going to play the sequel. Here we go. One question consumed me. How did our world come to be? The old one perished a thousand years ago, triggering the extinction of all life. Well, I know. <laughs> you should have finished the, you should have finished the first one. A little outcast girl, ignorant of her own importance. Through her, I learned that life was only saved through a technological miracle. Zero Dawn. A terraforming system composed of nine subordinate functions. Each playing its part to reshape Earth from a barren rock to a lush landscape. Tended and protected by the machines. And with her, I learned the deepest secret of them all. The secret of her birth. That she is a clone of Elizabeth Subek, Zero Dawn's creator. Born to prevent a new extinction. Driven by Hades, a levelant AI. Given sentience by a mysterious signal of unknown origin. And with a little help from me. She prevailed in a great battle at the city of Meridian. Becoming a champion for all humankind. But as useful as she has been, now I must leave her behind. For as she strives to put right what Hades sundered, I have made a new discovery. He's got Hades in a lamp, basically. Both I think is what I and believe is what happened. All right, here we go. I'm in it for the story. Auto saves will take place frequently as you progress each quest step. I see the monsters are still uh, going. Not monsters, really, but machines, I guess. I'm running out of time, Elizabeth. The land is dying. People are suffering. Soon, I'll starve. All because of a terraforming system that's spiraling out of control. And only I can fix it. 
only I have your genetic code. It won't be long before we hit the point of no return. And then... Extinction. I've been searching for months for what I need. A backup of Gaia. The AI you designed to control the system. But every time I think I have a lead, it comes to nothing. All right. And every night, I have the same dream. I'm walking under a brilliant night sky, through a field of flowers. And when I arrive at the center, I see you, Elizabeth. Hmm. Waiting for me, even though you've been dead for a thousand years. You're the closest person I've ever had to a mother. Strange that they're actually showing her. And for a moment, I feel whole. This world is your legacy, Elizabeth. I won't let it slip away. The valley below is my only remaining lead. My last hope to find the backup. I'll do whatever it takes to get it. I promise. Yeah, I recognize him. Carl? <laughs> if it isn't Aloy, the savior of Meridian, anointed of the Nora. You know I hate being called that stuff. Well, consider it a punishment for running out on us the very same night we beat Hades. I grew up an outcast. Remember, I'm not much for parties. Yeah. But that one was in your honor. Just saying. So, what are we doing? Must be urgent since you left so fast. Delving into ancient ruins? Or maybe it has something to do with the blight? Both, actually, but, um, I should- Oh, no. I've been tracking you a long way. It's okay. After everything you've done to help Lenora and my family, I swore an oath to help you, no matter what. But you're stuck with me now. Like bark on wood. Okay. But if you're going to come with me, you'll need to be able to see what I see. <sighs> A focus. Never thought I'd get your second sight. I'll give you another one later and show you how to back up your data. Data? Information on the device. We've got a lot to cover. Um, I'll have to explain everything as we go. You see like this all the time? since I was a little girl. Come on.
So are we going to be playing as him too or just her, I wonder? Shall we? on the way here we should find some medicinal plants stock up so it's time for your first lesson with the focus sounds good let's get started there we go these plants don't look like the ones in the sacred lands the focus helps you see the ones we need Ugh. bitter yeah, well, at least they make you feel better. All right, we should keep going. Might want to grab more of these plants along the way. Yeah, good idea. Those ruins. That's where we need to go. I see a few ways down. What are we after exactly? The backup? Well, um, it's an AI. It's um, it's hard to explain. Think of it like a set of instructions that can fix the world. Sounds complicated. Noticed you're uh, traveling light these days. Yeah, I am. Uh, ran into some trouble on the way here. Lost all of my gear. Hmm. Well, there's a line over there. Maybe we'll try that. ropes here, but we can use the line to slide down. Slimy. I'll take your word for it. <coughs> Salvaging machine carcasses as usual. And there they go. Looks like they left a carcass behind. Better take a closer look. Someone took down this machine recently. Who else would come here? I don't know. We better craft some arrows of our own. There might be trouble. Craft an arrow. There's some ridgewood by the stream. Yep. Oh, here we go. Same way it looks like here. 
done. Me too. Arrows ready. There's a ladder. But can't reach it from here. Nothing a well-placed arrow can't knock free. Just have to target the lock. After you. Got it. Transmission, we need to find a way in. So, um, what happened after I left Meridian? Well, there was a fuss when people realized you were gone. But then some of us figured you only would have left if it were for something important. You were right about that. The blight's not just poisoning plants. It's killing animals, too. Then people will get sick, too. And starve. We're not gonna let that happen. Find the entrance to the ancient ruins. Okay. Down this way. What? Uh oh. Okay, see how parts of it are glowing? Those are its weak spots. Got it. Okay, concentrate. I'm ready. Boom! Another one's coming. How does the focus know all that? It reads data on the machine. Like a hunter studying its prey? Yeah, kind of. So after the fuss over me leaving, what did everyone else do? Well, as soon as the celebration was over, my mother led the rest of the Nora home. The Sun King put his people to work rebuilding the city. And I set out to find you. Uh, I guess we're going up this way. I shot this machine too. Find anything good? A few supplies. Another ladder. Need to shoot off the lock. Map looks a little bit better here. You said you've had a focus since you were a child, right? Yeah. I found my first one when I fell into a ruin. Got the others from an old cache not long ago. It's good to have extras. Welcome to the Far Zenith Launch Facility. Okay. Far Zenith? 
I, I know they made some tech trades with Zero Dawn, but why would they have a backup of Gaia? We'll Please okay. register with reception for the tour. I guess they want us to check in with them. Please hold for identity scan. Access denied. Please wait here for personnel to assist you. Dr. Sobek. Okay. I guess they weren't on great terms with Elizabeth. Well, let's find a way in. Please hold for identity scan. He did Access say that someone denied. was coming. Credentials not recognized. I guess he doesn't like me either. I should be able to pry this open. There's climbing gear. Yes, someone dropped in from above. Ugh, what's that stench? Oops. Whoever left this here might have also shot those machines we found earlier. So where are they now? Let's go find out. Entire camp. Why doubt? They must have come here to delve for scrap. Acid. That explains the smell. And it looks like something big came in from above. Brushed right through the camp. Not through the wall. I should take a look at the rubble in that gap. Whatever came through here brought this down as it went out. If I can dislodge some of the debris, we might be able to squeeze through. Maybe I can find something to help in the camp. Aloy, over here. I think I got something. It's some kind of Osram prototype, I think. This hook looks like it can latch onto things. And this gear pulls it back. Hmm. It looks broken, but maybe we can repair it. Hook it to the debris. And pull it out. That could work. The focus can help us search the camp and identify anything we can use to fix the tool. My focus picked up a couple of things to check out. Poor guy. Acid burned right through his arm. Part of a machine could help fix the gears. Wow. Wow. How does this game look on a PS5? I'll let you know when I'm on my PS5. <laughs> All right, I think I have what I need to repair the tool, or maybe even make something better. I'm actually, I'm actually, believe it or not, I'm remote playing this to my PS4 up where I stream. So there's no HDR. I think it's like 720 cap, also. So I'll probably do most of the storyline missions on stream, and then probably do some stuff off stream. Uh, while it's in full HDR, and then I'll let you know how it looks. But Workbench. it's too difficult to lug my PS5 all the way up here. Come on, you have to play. I well, what am I supposed to do? I mean, <laughs> you know. Son of a bitch! I mean, what am I supposed to do? Improved version of the Delver's prototype tool that can latch onto and pull objects. 
I can't. I don't have a PC down there anymore. Polecaster. That's a new one. There. Uh, pole caster. Now to test it on the debris. I don't know if I really enjoy the remote play too much, so I might end up, like, actually physically lugging it up here, but I don't know. I don't like it. I'm Larry. <laughs> Larry Laffer? Good old DM. What's happening, man? What do you have to lug it on? Maybe that dent. Or maybe the pole caster can take out the debris. Oh, there we go. Now we're done. Have to do it twice, maybe? No. It's a hole down the button. That's what it is. Damn. It worked better than I thought. Uh, not much. Right as I hit my, right as I got in, Del Griffith hit my sounder, so it was out of stock. Damn it, Del Griffith. I have a request for the scales WTF cam. All right. What is scales? up to let's see here we go i don't have any audio on him but he's playing something here i wonder if i should add uh let's see let me try this here will that work Oh, he should be able to hear his audio now. But he's not actually doing anything, so... It's, <laughs> I mean, this is legit him not doing anything. <laughs> what I told you about my dad. Oh, he's talking to somebody. What the hell is he playing? I think he's up to Yakuza 4 now. Those are long-ass games. I think he played Yakuza much of... Like, much of the year. Doesn't look like there's an easy way out of here. I should scan the area. We have to find a way to keep going. The pulse didn't turn up much. I better scan. Huh. What's this thing for? He might be puking. Oh, I might be able to get up there. What's this? <sighs> well, good morning. I'm Oswald Dalgard, and it is my pleasure to introduce you to Far Zenith. Well, Oswald. Forget what you think you know about us. Our truth is simple. We say reach for the stars, even if you have to cross 8.6 light years of space to get there. Please, proceed into the auditorium, where we'll unveil our plans. Looks like a hipster doofus. Wonder what's in this auditorium. Guess we'll find out. I don't think I'm doing this right. That's not working. Hmm. Jumping, okay, hang on. 
Jump and attach. Jump and tap X. Ah, okay. Wow, that works. That pole caster is useful. Too bad there's only one. Don't worry, I'll find you another way up. Now we won't. That could come in handy. Oh, that didn't work. God, I gotta be sprinting. Helps if I am sprinting. There we go. Oh. Okay, I gotta drop the ladder for Varl. Cool, where's the ladder? Like down here. Oh, it's down there. Okay. Uh, Aloy, could you lower the ladder? Yeah, on it. There you go, girl. Thanks. No time to wait for Varl. Fuck that guy. Humans. Homo sapiens. Us. We have always pushed the boundary as explorers, pioneers, trailblazers. And now Far Zenith is taking the next leap into the future. That's why we're proud to have resurrected the Odyssey. When our government's abandoned in orbit, Far Zenith will actualize in less than a decade. But that's only the beginning. When the ship is complete, we will send the Odyssey and her crew where no one's gone before. The wow. system. Serious XM? There will create humanity's first off-world colony. The Odyssey may take 300 years to reach it, but when we look up at the night sky, we'll know they're on their way. And in the words of our founder, the late Peter Chinvumbe, the truest form of immortality is data corrupt. The playback stopped. Oh. The old ones could fly through the sky? Between the stars? <laughs> can I get can I get Howard uh, radio on here? Yes. Howard 101? Sort of. <laughs> TP ship, poker, what's happening, man? See, it, it never made it to the other star. Something went wrong and it blew up. Hello, friends. <laughs> Is that why Elizabeth gave them a backup of Gaia? For their colony? Error. Public presentation file corrupted. Member recruitment file available. Do you wish to reactivate? Yeah, reactivate. LimeWire started.
We all know the projections. Economic instability, new biocontagions, rampant AIs. How long before another catastrophe creates unacceptable risk for the world's elite? We here at Far Zenith believe, escape the inevitable. And so we reach for the stars. Now you've seen what we're building here. Infrastructure to support the Odyssey's construction. A state-of-the-art data center to facilitate rapid technological advancements. And you've seen how we're managing public perception. So invest and join us. Claim your birth on the Odyssey. Preserve your way of life beyond the concerns of Earth. Well, they were right about the world ending. I just didn't know how... yet. So everything they said back there about the next step for humanity... it was all a lie. These people only cared about saving their own skin. Yeah, well... didn't work out for them in the end. That Oswald guy mentioned a data center. There. The backup. It should be stored in there. Won't be able to swim across. I guess we'll have to find a way around. Come on. All right. Um, let's see. Well, I actually didn't have to work late, which is always shocking during tax season. That's good. Oh, it's Howard 100. Sorry. I don't know my Sirius XM channels, apparently. <laughs> TP Pober says, how are you doing, sir? I'm doing okay. I'm a little tired. But I'm doing okay. Um... How's your Twinkie, TP Poker? High in calories, spongy, and packed with delicious... Oh, gosh. Wow. Walked right into that one. The wilds have really blown over this place. Well, it looks like it could be knocked My down. Focus might be able to help here. I should be able to pull that thing out of the wall. That's what I just tried to do. Oh, I have to hold on to it. That's right. The Twinkie is the eighth wonder of the world. It just might be. Deeper into the creepy ruin we go. <coughs> oh! I'm not going to kill those of us around. Keep your guard up. Oh, my guard is up. Up here. Those things to call in some friends from underground. You take the left one, I'll deal with the one on the right. Okay. Moving up. I need to sneak up on it to take it out with my spear. Can't let it see me. I should scan it first. Check its patrol path.
Oh, I didn't kill it with a silent strike, but... What's new with you, Poker? How you been, buddy? What's the scuttlebutt today? My god, Shale is here. I feel like Shale's missed about two days of the stream. More of those machines ahead. Nothing you really can't handle. Where's this other guy at? Oh, he's over there. Get back in the tall bush. I've got your back. Got them all. I've been meaning to mention. I noticed you have a new look these days. <laughs> yeah, I know. Didn't have a lot of time to shave when I was trying to catch up to you. Don't worry, it's not permanent. Good. Sorry my whiskers offend you, anointed. Barber sound shell. I haven't e learned any skills yet. No, doesn't look like it. Osram must have used explosives against the machines. They managed to get a couple. Looks like there was a barricade here. The machines must have broken through. I'll keep this for later. I, guess that I like how the interface did not change whatsoever. Careful. Traps ahead. Huh. Might be able to disarm them. There. Managed to salvage some supplies. 
and not blow yourself up. Dismantled it and got more supplies. Yippee. Looks like another camp. While we're here, maybe we can make some traps of our own. Might come in handy against machines. Good idea. To uh, hold down. Oh, I don't have the right supplies to craft a trap. But it looks like the Osirum shot off some machine parts. I might be able to scrounge up enough materials from them. I can use this. Okay. I should have what I need to craft a trap. Shell's been busy. He's training for tag team competition. Yes, SSWF was very, uh, very successful last night. Um, highly watched. Well, for, for here, I should say. Um, a lot of people in there at the end last night. It was interesting. But, um, yeah. It was a good night. Good night of wrestling. and Yeah. There. Explosive trap made. If anything walks into one of those, it won't know what hit it. Scales is your new uh, Twitch champion. Over here, Aloy. I think I see a way up. I was hoping to get it to go over a trap. Oh, there it goes. Shale's... Hang on, we have a shale update. Let's go to the shale tracker report here. Shale's been busy AF with both jobs having extra responsibilities like training and ordering equipment plus his car breaking. Yeah, what is wrong with your car? Um, I got my car fixed the other day. Well, not fixed. I have it scheduled to be fixed. I they had to order parts because someone tried stealing my catalytic, catalytic converter uh, sometime in December. And yeah, insurance covered it, thankfully. But that was a nice thirty-six hundred uh, dollar bill. You've been in the and yes, the dealership is doing it. That's why it's so high, like as they should. Oh, is there a car? Months, but Every place is if I had to pay for it, I guess it'd be a different story, but insurance is covering it, so let's let them Both car both cats or do you mean cars are bad or having issues? I can't go over sixty five without it shaking. Damn. I'm trying to be funnier, but do you really need two cars?
Just three, drop 300 on a new exhaust. Ugh. Fuck cars, dude. Two catalytic converters? Oh, shit. Yeah, I have to pay another 250 for the replacement when I go, but it's still all covered. It really makes you hate the world, you know? Not as hot as Kia is lately. He was in some theft ring, I heard. Like there was some challenge or something. I don't know what uh, where to look at here. I need to get up there, but how does one get up there? Yeah, that's what it was it right there. It was a TikTok started a trend for Kia Boys group stealing all those who weren't updated to the new ignition switches. A fucking mess. Something over there. Ancient supply bot. Oh, can I go up this way maybe? Ah, okay. Oh shit. I don't suppose I can run jump that, can I? Nope. My coworker has a Kia Soul, but he updated his. They still tore apart his column. Jeez. Oh, here we go. Eight hundred dollars to repair. Insurance should cover that, though. I'll still have to pay the deductible, but in some cases, like I have a five hundred dollar deductible, it would have made sense a little bit. It's a big storm picking up out there. Yeah. And they're getting stronger. And more frequent. So the storms, the blighted lands, the rivers and lakes choked with algae. You were born to fix all Ooh, that. Ooh, deductible was 1k, yeah. But I can only do it if I find that backup. Mm. I think we're winding our way around to the data center. I hate that we'll shit. cut through that big building on the right out there. Hey, Varl. There's data here. You scan it with your focus. Hmm. 
This data mentions the tech that Far Zenith traded with Zero Dawn. It doesn't explain how they got it back up. I'll keep an eye out for more data. Let's see. I'm sorry, man. Huh. A lot of glyphs. Oh, we understand. I'll tuck this away to study later. Ugh. Like we've got to climb up. By the way, does anybody have any recommendations for uh, inexpensive streaming television? Like uh, that has USA Network in particular. Well, it is a thousand years old. It's mania season, and I need to get some sort of live TV before I get everything spoiled for me. Looks like some kind of meeting room. That door on the other side's locked. There's another one Peacock only does the pay-per-views and bras that are like a mo over a month old, which is so stupid. I don't know why they didn't work that out in a deal. They had some other Maybe deal. The table does they had some other deal with Hulu too, where they put Raw on the next day, but it's it's edited down to ninety minutes, which isn't terrible. But um, but you have to wait till like seven o'clock the next night, so it's like you might as well like. What's the point? No, the Rumble is. My question was, I need a streaming service that is cheap. Where I can watch Raw for the next few months uh, live. Or not live, but you know, like when my stream wraps up, I can likely have avoided spoilers unless someone in the know comes in here and says, Oh, did you see blah, blah, blah? I looked into Hulu, but you have to wait till 7 o'clock the next night before they upload it, which is stupid. Has raw like where you can buy? Terraforming system, the brainchild of Dr. Elizabeth Sobek, empowered by nine subordinate functions. Gaia, the core of the system, is capable of advanced planetary engineering, an obvious advantage to our space colonization efforts. Operation Phase One: Establish an asset within Project Zero Dawn. Status complete. Phase two, the asset will secretly beamcast a complete copy of Gaia and her subordinate functions to this facility's data center. If all goes well, Zero Dawn staff will remain completely unaware of the transmission. Risks. Discovery of this operation could result in Zero Dawn withholding the already negotiated Apollo database. Special care must be taken not to alert Travis Tate, the expert hacker in charge of Hades protocol. In addition, extreme caution must be exercised in regards to Dr. Sobek herself. As one of the world's preeminent technologists, she may have instituted unforeseen security measures. A complete assessment is attached. This concludes the executive summary. I thought Elizabeth sent the backup here, but she didn't. Far Zenith stole Gaia. Aloy? Why does that woman look like you? Uh, um... It's okay, Paul. We look alike because... We're the exact same. Genetically identical. But she was one of the old ones. How can you be her? Because I wasn't born. I was... made. By a machine. It's... why I'm motherless, why I was cast out as an infant. I don't understand. What kind of machine can make a person? Remember when I said the backup 
is like a set of instructions. It's more than that. It's called Gaia. And for a long time, she cared for the world until she had to destroy herself. So she made me to bring her back. I'm the only one who can. And this place is my last hope. You once said the goddess spoke to you when you went into All Mother Mountain. Was that this Gaia? Yes, but she's not the goddess, Oral. There isn't one. How can you be sure? It sounds like she anointed you with a sacred task. I've had a lot of time to figure this out. And you will too, with the focus. But for now, the report said they were going to store the stolen copy of Gaia in the data center. So that's where we have to go. Okay? All right. Let me catch up on the chatter since we've got the cutscene down here now. Um, watch USA Network on Roku Fire and Apple TV. There's a catch to that. It does offer it live only if you subscribe to a TV package. Correct. That's where I am having the problem. I don't have a live TV package. Um, and the problem would be when my stream is over, I have no way to start it from the beginning. So I like, would need some sort of like... DVR. I was looking into like YouTube TV, but like it's I don't know, man. I don't know if it's fifty something dollars a month. It's just ew. Dell has a pro, uh, porno TV package. Yes, he does. USA does doesn't have a standalone, nor is it affiliated with any streaming platforms. The only way to get it is to have a live TV package on most subscriptions. Sling has a DVR streaming, but it's forty. I've had Sling before, and their DVR is not. I don't know. A DVR is normally fine, but it does have issues. Um, and they were putting, like, commer unskippable commercials, too, for a minute. I don't know if that was, like... Like, I think the the DVRs were getting, like, misconstrued as VODs or something, and they were, like, not... Um, it should be skippable. I should be able to fast-forward and stuff, and you couldn't. I don't know. That's, that's, that's this week's conundrum. I heard YouTube TV is pretty. That's what I keep hearing. Huh. I heard they're doing 4K now too. Aloy, over here. I found something you could use. I had like a little streaming thing that they were throwing in with my internet from Spectrum, but like it, it has channels that us. nobody would ever watch. Like it did have Comedy Central, but like I haven't watched Comedy Central since Tosh got canceled. Like. I don't think anything on there is worth a damn now. And MTV... Ugh. I thought WWE Network... WWE Network never had Live Raw. They just have pay-per-views and they have replays after a month. A weapon. And YouTube TV does not it's have uh, Bally's either, which is kind of a we should keep moving. bummer. After you. For people who want sports... Blasting launch bombs that affect large areas. Do they have the spice channel? Poker, why don't you Google that and find out? <laughs> Google that, find out, and let me know. Is spice channel is still even a thing. Down here. Oh! I think we're almost back outside. Good. Valley Sports package is a pain in the ass. I think Del Griffith actually subs to that, like, on a monthly plan. <laughs> And I heard something. I don't know if this is true. I heard you cannot get uh, Guardians games on there. Is that is that accurate? 
and it's on one of their channels. It's like they separated it. Like, they used to have it on Fox Sports Ohio, and the Cavs used to have Fox Sports Ohio. But now Bally's took over, and they put them on two different networks, I, I heard. Like, the Guardians are on Great Lakes now or something. All right, you guys are going to make me actually look this up. Is the Spice <laughs> Google first thing? Is the Spice Channel still on? As of November twenty eighth. Oh, that that's quite old. Two thousand two. I don't know if it's still around, dude. Let's look on Wikipedia here. Oh, Indians were sports time, Ohio. My bad. So it's still around. In January 2013, the networks were rebranded by brands owned by MindGeek, which is Brazzers, Bang You, RKTV, and Mofos. <laughs> <laughs> the South Korean version of Spice is the remains the only of the original Spice Networks channel that still broadcasts under the same name. So there you go. You learned something today on my stream. It, it, I like to be educational. You can always ask someone to link their cable service so you can use their login. Yeah, that'd be great. But that doesn't um, help with the whole, like, going back to the beginning thing, you know, when, like, I'm wrapped up on a Monday at 10 o'clock. You know, how do I go back to the beginning? Look, that must be the machine. It's coming in the same direction we're going. Those machines. I could try with a new weapon on it. Skates wants to watch. <laughs> Wait, what is this? <laughs> Skates once watched the Spice Network for 72 hours straight because he taped his eyelids open. Screw the, screw the streams. Oh man. I do like I do like the streams. Oh shit, I didn't know that was a guy there. Looks like we can cross over here. I had no idea that was a dude there. That big machine must have attacked as they tried to escape. They didn't stand a chance. So, you said this backup is the last hope. Yeah. All those places I've been these last few months, there were supposed to be more backups. But a thousand years ago, a guy named Ted Farrow purged them all. Is he part of Far Zenith too? No. He was worse. The best trick is to put pennies in the cable box. I heard that work for a while. Where's Cronkle at? Cronkle knows all about that. Somebody get Cronkle in here.
us wrong. Dude's yeah, back there talking to himself. A journal filled with hastily scra scrawled glyphs. Spice used to be on channel 63 when you take the remote and press 636363 636363 and it sheds the block screen. <laughs> really? That's an oversight. Machines patrolling ahead. We can tag them in the focus to keep track of them. Oh, now you done did it, guy. I think they caught on to that too, like later on in Cable Life uh, poker, because I remember I didn't believe Kronko when he told me that, and I think if I recall correctly, because I tried like getting a pay per view channel once, and they called uh, my home phone number and asked if someone was trying to illegally obtain a pay per view. <laughs> I was like, uh, I don't know what you're talking about. Way back in the day, my dad put a dish on top of our house to get Showtime for free. So tell me something. <laughs> That's awesome. Sona was really okay with you going back to the sacred lands. As the Nora Dude, just just think about it though. I mean, it's you, you kind of like. The more things change, the more they stay the same. You know what I mean? Like, you... That happened to your dad. What was that? Like, maybe 15, 20 years ago? And, like, you know, when you... When your kid grows up, your kid's gonna be like... You know, assuming... I'm not saying that Dell has ever done this, but... Back in the day, my dad used to torrent to get Showtime for free. You know, like, stuff like that. And, there, and then whatever technology's gonna be in, like... You know, 15, 20 years... You're going to be like, what the hell is a torrent? <laughs> YouTube TV is $64.99 a month. Includes USA Network and Unlimited Cloud DVR. I can actually get it for $54. She understood why. Yeah, early 80s, the satellite dish was new and pretty but big, I remember. Mother, she wasn't pleased. Is she ever pleased? I don't think I've seen her smile. There was a... Uh, Me neither. I, I'm I'm gonna date way far back here. I don't know if any of you guys will remember it, but there was a show called Silver Spoons that had an episode about kids trying to use a satellite dish to get porn, <laughs> and that was early '80s. Silver spoons that spoil little blanket. <laughs> Ricky Schroeder. <laughs> yep. And you know Carlton. Carlton came. Carlton came out of that show too, if you recall. He was on that show. 
Alfonso Ribeiro, I think is his name. My uncle used to work for a local PD as a dispatcher. They busted a guy selling black boxes and they took them and were selling them to family members. Poor guy got locked up. I used to be able to adjust an antenna and get a station out of Detroit. Oh yeah, the, he had he was the first time I ever saw arcades in a, in a home, and I was like, that'll never be possible unless you're loaded. Yeah. Thankfully, that became a dream, or that dream became reality. Yeah, the train was cool though. I like the train. If they slaughtered all those Osirum, we'll never get through to the data center. There's no way to slip past them. They're too tough to fight head on. We could find a settlement. Convince some hunters to help us. That would take weeks, and we don't have that kind of time. Maybe all we need is that shuttle to fall. That thing. That was small wonder, but the little girl. Just wait here. I haven't heard anything about that show in years. Like that's this is the first time I've thought about that show in probably thirty years. Just need to get over to the shuttle to figure out. I remember being on though. That and Fat Albert used to be like on almost the same channel. They used to put a physical filter on the box on the house in our area. Too many found out and removed them. They started putting them on the pole. People started climbing. Then they put them on the cable boxes and people started using pennies or black boxes. Punky Brewster. Oh shit. I remember that. You can actually probably still get Detroit channels, by the way. If you have a good enough antenna... Um, and you put it high enough. I was, I picked up a channel from Pittsburgh, I think, one time. It showed up in my Plex one day, and I'm like, what the hell is this channel? It's out of Pittsburgh, but I never, I, can I never can get it consistently. It's gotta be, like, certain, like, climate has to be going on outside, like, See if I can silent strike this dude. Well, that didn't work. He had a buddy that came out. What happened to the creator of Fat Albert? Yeah. Punky Brewster ended up with a huge set. So the, she has a. She did a show on. Um, I think it's Hulu. I forgot what the name of the show is, but look up. Um, Sailor Moon Fry, I think, is it? Sailor Moon Fry. <laughs> Something Moon Fry. Not Sailor Moon. <laughs> I'm crossing two different things there. Look up uh, her on Hulu, and I'm sure you'll find that special. But it talks about her, like, getting into, like, drugs and stuff. And how, like, she was, like, gawked at by people on the set because she had a huge rack. I wish I could remember the name of that uh, show. No, let me look that up. Hang on. Uh, Kid90 is the name of it. Salil. Salil or Salil is her name. Drugs and huge tits. My kind of brought... Yeah, she got like... She made all kinds of weird accusations though. Like, she claimed that like... 
thought she claimed something about Leonardo DiCaprio. That ladder can get me up to the tower. Like she banged him or something, or, or something with Leo. And some kid from Beverly Hills 90210 had some thing going on with her too. Okay, there's a rail up there. I think I can reach it if I launch myself off that grapple point. Didn't make it. She claims Scott Bayo poked her in the rear. Wait, I thought that was what's her name? Um I thought that was the her co-star or whatever. High enough. Better try this again. Whoa. Poor Scott Bayo. Yeah, that was his co-star. What the I forgot what her name was. The hot blonde from Charles in Charge. She still to this day accuses him for that. They have like they have like little Twitter spats. Does anyone here remember back in the day if you unplugged the base of your cordless phone you could hear other people on your street? I do not remember that. The storm's getting bad. When did that change? Nicole Ugger, thank you. Yes, that was her. Uh oh. Tower down. On to the next. I won't be able to make that jump. But there is a cable here. Uh... Oh shit! Uh, well, nowhere to go but up. This place is barely holding together. Looks like there are massive clamps holding the shuttle in place. I bet there's a control console nearby. Massive clamps. clamps. The shuttle should fall right into the basin. Nicole Eggert, was she hot? Yeah, go look at her now. <laughs> it's it's really sad what drugs can do to somebody. Am I walking? Yasmin Belief was a perfect. I. She was on Baywatch, wasn't she? There's that other one. Okay. Got this place 
things to myself now. Tiffany Amber Thiessen? She's still hot, dude. Control console might be in there. Okay. Time to crush those machines down below. I'm gonna have to climb the tower to find a way to disconnect them. Now, how to get up the tower? Scanning with my focus could help here. Cool, how the hell did he get up there? If I pull that beam down, it might drop the access lift. Ah. Yes, she did. Some really good movies out too. Great, how the fuck do you get up there? Can I just bounce off that? I think so. She does not latch on to anything despite she should technically be able to climb that.
Oh, you gotta come up from inside there, okay. Oh, that makes sense. Are you fucking kidding me right now? Another one who wasn't really a big fan of Pam Anderson. Um, I think she was hot. I think there were hotter people. Nicole Eggert, I, I thought was hotter. Let's talk about banging's got shale talking about banging. Using a sounder. Son of a bitch! Almost there. Where's scales tonight? There's the other connector. Jamie Lunar, who is that?
thing down fast. Track me, frost ammo. Or my focus might find something at the end of Finally. Right to the next checkpoint here, and then we're going to stop for the, the data center. Should be straight ahead. I guess Farrell's gonna have to find another way there. <laughs> oh, you want a commercial, huh? Hang on. Usually, I only play it when somebody brings her up, but unless SSWF. We should do more SSWF commercials. Like we may have to come up with something. Once I get the backup, I can But that was a great Fix idea. The system, heal the blight. Restore Elizabeth's dream. But is it still there? Okay. I should find a server room. Alright. We got a checkpoint here, so that is where we're going to stop. I swear, if you raid Harmac, I quit. You quit what? Life? Twitch? <laughs> Minus 20 on friendship points. Looks like you and good old DM have uh, earned friendship points after last night. You guys are, uh, were a pretty explosive tag team. Uh, DM mentioned something about a commercial. Welcome to the stream, it's little Sia. I'm a Twitch ambassador and I just hit 10,000 subscribers on Twitch. A lot of people tune in to see the emotes being used. <laughs> Yay! I didn't have anyone to do my emotes and then I found Jinko. Sometimes finding the perfect job can be difficult. As a designer, I'm always trying to up-level my work and this was a great opportunity to do that. I'm so lucky that Jinko and I connected because I really don't think I would have this type of success without him. Great, great moments, moments are, are the work, work of many. many. All right. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, all right. If you like what you saw and you've not done so yet, please hit the follow button. I am trying to hit 350. It's a long shot from 10,000 subscribers by the end of 2023. You guys can help make that happen. Please like, share, and support the channel. I'll be back tomorrow with uh, more Horizon Forbidden West. And then, um, just to give a little quick programming note, Monday I will not be streaming. However, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday of next week, I will be streaming. And then on Friday, uh, we will be streaming as well. As is this Friday, there will be a state of the streams. So far, as long as Harmac doesn't, you know, find a way out of it or anything. So, we will be on all week this week, which is, which is good. Um... So anyway, keep this conversation going. Take it over into uh, to Harmax chat. He is back tonight. I did see a, a go-live alert from him, so we'll join his stream in progress. But please, uh, help us out. Go to the Discord, slashstreams.com slash Discord. We have information on the SSWF first premium event coming up here. It's going to be C or CW <laughs> SSWF in your igloo. That's going to be uh, in a couple weeks. So there'll be some matches, and we'll find out who will be your inaugural SSWF champion. Are we going to terrorize Harmac? Uh, absolutely. Absolutely we are going to. Uh, all right, guys. Have a good one. We'll see you back here tomorrow. Take care. Have a good night. Stay tuned for Harmac. He is up next. <laughs>